Hello, everyone. I'm Lonnie. I'm Amberlicious. And we're on Title Nerd Network. We just got back from seeing Deadpool and Wolverine. Woo! After a crazy wait and all the media marketing and all that other good stuff. And another thing that we got, we got the bucket. <laughs> With the tongue. <laughs> <laughs> we got the popcorn bucket. It says it's created by Deadpool, don't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Designed by Deadpool. Designed by Deadpool. <laughs> that's freaking awesome. It is. But anyway, cool. that's gonna go back here. Mm -hmm. Um, I'll probably bring it up, show it one more time. But um, first off, I want to take the first couple of minutes to kind of review the movie without spoilers, just mm -hmm. in case somebody happens upon the video. But we will do full spoilers here in like just a couple of minutes. So, um, just vague thoughts without giving away any plot points. No, uh, it was really good. Fantastic, yeah. yeah. I, <laughs> it, that, yeah the, that, that, there was no doubt in my mind yeah, that yeah. Deadpool and Wolverine was going to be a great movie, and it was great. It really was. Uh -huh. it, it measured up. Uh, I'm going to go see it again. We went to the 4.30 show, and I'm going to see it again at 9.05. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, just a wonderful movie. Um, it was really, really good. It had um, an absolute crap ton of cameos that I won't give away just yet. Uh, I actually had heard somebody say that this first five minutes of the movie was the best five minutes of any Marvel movie. I don't know if I would quite go that far, but it was easily one of the most entertaining. Yeah, it's definitely um, one of the most entertaining. They they did really good with a, with... The first five minutes, I enjoyed the story. The story went good. The characters went good. There were... I'm going to have to get the cat down off behind the... There we go. Okay. God, you just can't have a flawless video, can we? No, especially with a gremlin. Yep. <laughs> but anyway. But, um, <laughs> yeah, I absolutely love the film. Uh, and I can't really say anything else about it without spoilers. So, spoilers, so, spoilers, spoiler, spoiler, spoiler. Spoiler warning... We're going to start talking spoilers in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Spoiler time! First five minutes of the movie was Deadpool going to Logan's grave from the end of Logan, <laughs> getting his corpse out of the ground, and uh, beating a bunch of TVA soldiers to death with, with, his, his, bones. with his metal skeleton. <laughs> All while Bye 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 played in the background. <laughs> Which, of course, made my day. <laughs> that was a fantastic opening. But the whole deal is, uh, whenever Logan died in the Logan universe, that caused a ripple effect. He was like an anchor that kept that universe from just falling apart. And when he died, the universe started falling apart. And there goes zero again. <sighs> Maybe he'll be still. Yeah, maybe he will. Okay. We gave him treats before the video just because we thought he would stay off. But anyway. Anyway. Um, yeah. Uh, so, there was a really neat montage right at the beginning of the movie um, where he goes bouncing around all these different universes looking for Wolverines. And yeah. my, my prediction, I was semi-correct mm -hmm. that he was going to go run around looking for different Wolverines. I just didn't know it would be, be like a montage like that. I honestly thought the first 40 minutes of the movie was, was going to be, be spent just... him running around looking and then yeah. finally settling on one. But that happened really quick and they had all kinds of Wolverines. I really don't want to give everything away because <laughs> you need to go see this movie and this uh, review is going to be out probably before anybody actually sees the film. Um, but if, I mean, if you're still here, you don't care. So, right, yeah. um, they had the <laughs> patch Wolverine at a casino. Uh, they had the, uh, brown suit Wolverine fighting the Hulk. Briefly, the Hulk had a quick cameo. Mm -hmm. Um, my favorite, favorite favorite cameo in that montage was the age of apocalypse oh, where he yeah. had the missing arm and the big <laughs> fluffed out hair and the everything and he was just whew, that 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 made my nerd boner just go boing. <laughs> okay <laughs> i 
mean, what I, do you do then? What do you do then? <laughs> but, uh... Anyway. Yeah, he finally finds Wolverine. You know, the uh, the issue with the claws coming out only happened in one scene. Well, yeah. two scenes. There was another time where he was like, almost, and, uh-huh. you know, they kind of came out slow. But uh, that didn't become an issue the rest of the time. I almost get the idea like maybe he hadn't popped his claws in a while. It, maybe it really was Whiskey Dick of the Claws. He was drunk as shit. Oh, yeah, he was totally wasted, wasn't he? <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, about half the movie takes place in the void between universes from Loki. Mm-hmm. Uh, Elioth, the giant fog hound that consumes everything was the big uh, threat looming in the background. Cassandra Nova was a villain and creepy as fuck. Yes, she was. They did her right in this movie. Like, they really did. It was uh, it was fantastic. She did this really weird effect thing where she would put her hand up behind somebody's head and her fingers would... Yeah, that... behind the head. Anywhere on the head. Yeah. That's, that's how she read minds. She just went... And touched your brain for real. Yeah, she put her <laughs> hand through your head, and you could see people's like eyeballs moving around where she was like doing. I was like, Ugh. Yeah, it was creepy for sure. She did that in the comic books. I can't remember exactly who she did it to, but uh, <laughs> cat. I know. That's what happens when you have a cat present when you're trying to do reviews. Um. They built up the Wolverine versus Sabretooth in the Void battle quite a bit in the trailers. <laughs> yeah. And that was very anticlimactic. He sliced Sabretooth's head off and that was it. And that was the end of it, yeah. That was it. Uh, basically what they're trying to do is save uh, Wolverine's people, I guess with time travel or whatever, because... Mm-hmm. I guess humans had hunted them down, probably with Sentinels. They they probably just got totally demolished. Yeah. Killed all the X-Men while Wolverine was off having a binge drink. Um, yeah. You know, not wanting to be part of the team, that kind of thing. Uh, I'm still kind of processing this movie. Yeah, we literally just got back. <laughs> because I'm, I'm going to see it again uh, here in just like an hour and a half, but... Like, God, there was a lot to take in. You Mm -hmm. had the team that he teams up with in the void Mm -hmm. was amazing. Wesley Snipes' Blade, Mm -hmm. Jennifer Garner's Electra, um, Channing Tatum's Gambit that we never got to see. Mm -hmm. We finally got to see that. And he was comics accurate and costume with, and you, it was because Deadpool made a joke quite a few times that you couldn't understand what he was saying because his Cajun accent was Yes, so yes. And he it was just saying gibberish and some lines to, yeah. for that effect. And it was pretty funny. It was kind of like on a Swamp People. Like where yes. their accents are so thick that they actually have subtitles even when you don't ask for them. Yes. But, uh, I'm missing somebody. Who else was it? Uh, X-23. Oh, yeah, yeah, X-23. But, God, she hardly ever talked. I almost forgot she was there half the time. But it was X-23 from Logan. Yeah. Um, older. And, uh, that was, that was interesting. Um, even though I didn't, I'm in the minority when I say this, but I just didn't care for Logan. I really didn't care for that movie. So, Mm, yeah, whatever. I didn't like the fact that they killed him and you know, that Deadpool really pissed all over that, which was hilarious in my eyes. Right. Yeah. Um, and he made mention of it numerous times, you know, like, yeah, yeah, we're just crapping on the legacy here. It's okay. Right. Um, yeah. They did a really good job of just letting Fox go. Because <laughs> once they were established in the MCU, ca- uh, Cable, Deadpool actually grabs the camera and was like, Fuck you, Fox! Yes! <laughs> yes! I'm going to Disney World! <laughs> That's what he said! <laughs> I have one complaint about the movie. And I don't want to like give everything away like how it ends and everything, but... yeah. 
I'll say it, it, it resolved great. We got to see a massive team of Deadpools. Mm-hmm. Um, those were really cool. Seeing Ryan Reynolds out of his mask with long hair. That was like a pre- weird, wasn't it? Yeah. It was. But I thought it was great. It was funny, it. but almost off-putting, but not so bad that I, it was cringy. You know what I mean? It wasn't cringy, but it was still kind of like, oh. <laughs> it's cool. Amber got me a Deadpool shirt. Deadpool, the cover of Deadpool number one from his first limited series in, I think, 93 or 94. Mm-hmm. Um, fantastic. Might have been 92. I don't know. No. Um, but the one complaint that I had, mm-hmm. and this just kind of, I realized it during the final scene where all the families together and everything. Mm-hmm. His buddy that owns the bar didn't make a single fucking appearance in this yeah, movie. Yeah, it made me wonder, like... What's up with that? Yeah. <laughs> it did. It made I, me wonder. Uh, Colossus was there, but I don't think he even had a, spe- a line in the movie. Did he say anything I at don't all? think so. I don't, not like that he I was, can remember. Like, there were a couple of characters that just got kind of shoehorned in. Yeah. Um, they had the X3 juggernaut there, mm-hmm. but it wasn't Vinny Jones, I don't think. And he didn't talk in the... You know, I'm the juggernaut, bitch. You know, right, that, yeah. that 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 wasn't uh, him, I don't believe. So, uh, yeah, there, there were a couple of little things that you're like, huh, I wonder why that didn't happen. But the, the, the one that just jumped out at me was his, and I don't even remember his name, but my favorite scene in Deadpool 2 was with him where Cable was getting ready to torture him mm-hmm. and he was like look you don't even have to make it step number two I'll, I'll just give you everything yes, he's yes, like I can't yes. handle pain I've stubbed my toe I'm done and for he's the day. like he tells him later when he says I, I told him everything <laughs> yeah yeah so I'm just like but yeah they didn't have him and you know he was in the trailer of the first movie and had a pretty huge part in the second one and then who knows? I hate when movies do that. Yeah. But it wasn't enough to kill the movie for me. The movie, right. was, the movie was still wonderfully fantastic. I want to hear your thoughts. You want to hear my thoughts about yes. it? Um, my, uh, the, my favorite part was probably when they met up with Johnny. <laughs> and you don't know it's Johnny. Yeah. You don't know it's Johnny. It's Chris Evans. It is Chris Evans. he even calls him Cap at one point. Yeah, because he thinks he's Cap. And that's just it. I, when we're watching this, I'm like, well, he doesn't look like Cap. And for a minute, it's been a while since we watched Fantastic Four. But I was like, no, he looks like somebody else. And then he was like, flame on. I was like, oh, yeah. He was expecting him to say Avengers Assemble. <laughs> and instead he said flame on and just burst into flames and took off. But they yeah. killed his ass deader than shit. Yes, they did. <laughs> <laughs> this is like, he is not coming back no, for another movie. She ripped his skin off, and then he just fell apart into a big pile of guts. That was wild. Yeah, it that was pretty was crazy looking. Because he was alive for like two seconds she after that like happened. This. And he was like... She could do all kinds of crap. <laughs> we got to see Pyro from X2 and X3. Mm-hmm. Um... Toad was there from the first X Men movie. Uh-huh. Sabretooth lasted all of about thirty seconds. <laughs> right, and they thought uh, they were the shit when they killed him, and then he, he wasn't even like the major one. <laughs> um, but man, it just such a good movie. It was a really good story. I really enjoyed it. The soundtrack was killer. Probably the best soundtrack they've had sense it was pretty solid you know probably probably the best soundtrack of the three movies i'd agree absolutely agree um but yeah like your thoughts on hugh jackman coming back as wolverine God. hugh jackman can choke me on any holy day like jesus <laughs> That's he's how still put together yeah for, <laughs> what is he like 55 yeah now or i something? think so yeah that man is ripped. I don't know if that was CGI or if... No, it wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't. Was there... Did it... Did, this is interesting, though, because here's... He does put the Wolverine mask on 
towards the end of the movie. It's like the Which big payoff. Which is really cool. And yeah. it looks amazing. Yeah. Um, when there is a scene right at the end of the movie after everything's resolved and they come walking out with their mask on, but he, uh, Wolverine doesn't have a shirt on, but he has the mask. Yeah. He almost looks shiny and hairless when the mask is on, uh-huh. but then when it shows him without his mask off, he's regular Harry Hugh Jackman again. I don't know if I was just seeing things, but it looked like masked Wolverine was a little bulkier and had like a waxed hairless physique. And then when he took his mask off, he had hair on his body. It was still ripped like crazy, but maybe like 10% less ripped. Like they almost got a bodybuilder to play him with the the mask mask on. on, like just in that one scene because he wasn't that big. Right, yeah. With the mask on in full costume. I don't know what the deal with that was. I don't know either. So, but something was off there for me. But it again, it didn't take away from the movie. I almost thought it was a gag. It might like, have been. Like they gave him a slicked, oiled physique with no body hair. I was, what, with the mask with on. With the mask on. Just as a joke. I think that's, I think that's what it was. Truthfully. Okay. But uh, I, I don't want to give like everything away. Obviously, the good guys win. Um... And Wolver, here's the thing though. Are they in the MCU now? Because it looked like they saved Deadpool's Fox universe. They saved whatever universe he was in. He he was in the Fox universe, the same universe the whole time because it had all of his friends and family. Right, yeah. All that, but. Wolverine stays there with him, Mm -hmm. I guess, is like the new anchor, I guess. Um, Yeah. So, technically, that was an MCU film that takes place in the Fox universe and still leaves everything open for Secret Wars. Okay. Or whatever Avengers 5 and 6 are going to be called now. But I'm getting the vibe like they're still in their own separate universe under the MCU banner. Got you. And okay. they've got to be there because eventually when all this multiverse stuff comes up to a head, all the universes are going to be destroyed and pieces of them are going to be a new sacred timeline is yep. going to come together. And it's going to have... A little bit here, a couple of characters from the Fox, you know, you know, like yeah. everything's going to come together and I'm sure there'll be a healthy mix of old and new actors and, you know, it, it I think it really just depends, but uh, that's going to be major and yeah. it's still set up for that. So, oh, such a good movie. I can't wait to go see it again. <laughs> right. Like, really? Because here's the thing. I'm going to see that. We went and saw it just now. I'm going to see it again at 9. I know for a fact I'm going to see it again Monday night. That's three times. There's a strong possibility I might go see it again Saturday afternoon. So, it. I think it Saturday's really just going to depend on if I'm tired of it by then or not. And I don't think I will be. <laughs> I'm... I'm loving this movie it was it was really really good it was not disappointing at all Mm -hmm. so what do you give the movie i'm gonna give it i'm gonna give it a 10 i'm gonna give it a 10 am i still doing those 11s i don't think it was 11 worthy like it was a good movie do not get me wrong but there wasn't anything that makes it 11 worthy in my eyes okay i think realistically i'll probably give it a 10 i want to give it an 11 but i think with time, like most comedy, um, it won't be a movie that I could just watch over and over and over and over and over and over and over. Yeah. Because eventually the novelty of all this is going to wear off. Like, this is a huge thing right now. Mm-hmm. Like, right now, this is a huge thing. And I'm telling you, go see the movie. But once Avengers 5 and 6 comes out and all the characters get together and all, it's almost like yeah, Civil War was amazing, mm-hmm. but it got knocked down a peg once Infinity War and Endgame came out. I mean, out. that's true. It it did, but it's still a good movie. Yeah, it's still a great yeah. movie, but it's like right now Deadpool's the best of the best. It just occurred to me, we 
did not talk about how they beat all those Deadpools that were fighting them. Do you remember? They... No, they didn't beat them, actually, technically. Yeah. Peter showed up. Oh! Yeah! Yes. Freaking Peter from the second movie, the member of X-Force, was uh, just kind of in the background the entire movie. Well, while they were in that universe. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, they basically killed like a hundred Deadpools, but they all regenerate, except for one. I'm not going to give away who. Yeah. And, um... Once they get through just chopping them up and beating the hell out of everybody and they think everybody's dead, they all stand back up. And it yeah. looks like it's about to be a total pain in the ass for everybody. And then Peter walks out with a, a Deadpool suit on. Mm-hmm. And when he takes his mask off, everybody's like, oh my God, Peter, Peter. And like all the Deadpools like hold Peter in just the highest regard, mm-hmm. even though our Deadpool doesn't. Right, Yeah. <laughs> Which is hilarious. But one of my favorite jokes was, every Oh, pull. no. No. Yep, that was zero. Oh, what a turd. Get down. <laughs> <laughs> He's refusing to move. <sighs> refusing. Okay, well, we made it almost to the end. <laughs> anyway, my favorite joke, <laughs> every Deadpool has a Peter. <laughs> <laughs> With that, we're going to wrap. We'll see y'all next time we watch a Marvel movie, which at this point is going to be February 2025 for Mm -hmm. New World Order, the new Captain America movie, which we saw a trailer of. Same trailer, it's been online. Yeah. Pretty good movie, but I'm sure we'll probably be back to review something. Maybe not Marvel, though. And again, apologies for zero fucking Fucking up the camera there for a minute and (laughs) making this review just miserable. Oh, so. <laughs> miserable. My I don't even God. want him in the room anymore when we do it. Well, whatever. It's like all of... fine. Whatever. He didn't even appear on camera this time. No, he didn't. Usually he we thought at least... about it, and then he decided not to. Usually we at least get that payoff. But <sighs> not this time. Not today. <laughs> all right. Y'all have a good day, and uh, enjoy the movie. <laughs>